Welcome to the Greg Garman Graphics video training series. In this session we're going to create a split front design using CADWorksLive.com. I get asked all the time how to create a split front, especially when you're having an overlap and also the angle of the split. CADWorksLive.com makes this very easy. So let's go over to the software. Here we are in CADWorksLive.com. For this session we're going to select Create a Design. In Create a Design we are going to select New from Template. And we'll double click on Categories. Double click on Templates. And for this session we'll select Script Tails. And we'll select the middle one, say open. And there's our design we're going to work with today. The gray area behind the word Bulldogs represents the color of the shirt. We're just going to select that and delete it. We're going to select the word Bulldogs. And we're going to edit the text. We'll change the word Bulldogs to Falcons. and say OK. Now we need to reposition the, words, the word Falcon. I'm also going to change the size of the word Falcon. And here we have our script word Falcons with tail. We'll select the whole design go up to shaping and we're going to weld this together now we have a one piece design we're going to select our, our design here and go back to edit text now, I can't change the word falcons because we now welded it to the tail but we can add effects to it we're going to go add effect and we're going to select split, split front Let's select the middle one here, the two color. And there's our two color falcons with tail and with a split front. Now we have to give it whatever value we want. Right now the split's at 50%, which means it's right in the middle of the lettering. And we'll just change it to 20% just to demonstrate that you can change it anywhere you want. We'll just change it back to 50%. The next value that we can work with is the overlap. Now this has to do with how wide the placket that you have on the shirt the default is set at 0.79 just to demonstrate we'll change that to 0.5 and you just saw the design change the next value is the turning it's, right now it's at 45 percent and this is the biggest question that people ask me is, why do you turn that? If you're working with a full button front jersey, a lot of the designs you'll see are at a, an angle or diagonal on the shirt. So to address that you have to turn the, the split on different angles. We'll just put it at zero just to show you that now is straight up and down. So if you're using the word Falcons with a tail going straight across the jersey, you don't want any percent on there. We'll just change that back to 45.
very powerful part of the program. The next area is the gap. And that's the distance between the two different sides of the split. So there's our word falcons with our split front. And now we're ready. Let's change it to a two color here just to show you you can do that. Remember, colors are just for reference only. When you're in cutting, whatever color of material you put in there is what you're going to cut. So let's go to our vector cut. And I'll reposition so we can see it. So now we're in vector cut. There's our design. I want to fit objects so we can see it a little bit better. But there's our two color split front. Now we cut by color. And there's our foreground. There's our background. We can go up and select our cutter. In this case is a Roland GX24. Got mirror design. We can rotate it if we wish. We can add as many copies in there as we wish. Put our material size and we can send that to cutter. So work with it. Try different angles. And if you have any questions on working with a split front, you can just give us a call. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please let us know. Also check for a Great Carmen Graphics Seminar in your area.